Chair uh, Lawyer Lamin K. Mboich has on Wednesday appeared before the Truth Commission to continue his testimony. He revealed that his arrest in 2010 was as a result of signing an avidavi on behalf of an, a client who let deny taking part in such activity. However, Counsel Mboich opined that his arrest was in accordance with the law. Kadir Seka has more details of that. Lawyer Kimbuch, a former magistrate at Bilkama and Banjul Magistrate Courts, was charged in 2010 for making false documents without authority, coupled with false swearing and authoring false documents to the Criminal Court of the Laws of the Gambia. Counsel Mboich said his client colluded with the person spying on him to get him implicated for Tom printing an affidavit initially requested by the said client, but later denied it before the court. The same client who pleaded with me to find, sign and file it on his behalf. Turned around and said he did not authorize me to sign that affidavit on his behalf. He insisted on withdrawing the application before the court. After withdrawing the, the application already, I believe he got a link with the same person who is monitoring me. That is because they come from the same village in Jambanjele. And then he had an opportunity to get me arrested. The Economic Crime Act was established when public theft leading to economic significance lost. Lawyer Lamin Cambridge cited the negative effects of the decree negative effect of the economic crimes decree ta mbeso na walale katunia jibe nyim fanka tinya sarto me yalo nditeng ala fanna me yalo ko mu ku jenker ni nati me mantoro sabu is to use it to silence critics of the then administration in an interview with foroya newspaper lawyer lamin kimbuch confirmed it he was appointed as Solicitor General of the Ministry of Justice. According to him, his appointment was revoked on the same day he assumed office without any reason advanced for his removal. But Istanbul was called to the Gambian Bar in 1993 and served as a magistrate from 1994 to 1998. Since then, he has been a private legal practitioner. He dealt with high-profile cases such as treason. Karija Duseka, African News. Karija Duseka, reporting on the ongoing public hearings of the uh, TRRC.